everybody welcome back to my channel Let's set this up a little bit here um, we got something going on here I haven't done a video in a while and I thought maybe I'd use this for a video um, the guy that um, cuts my trees for me um, that you've seen in some of my videos has a buddy of his that uh, owns this saw and he happened to run over it with his vehicle. And it looks to me like he's broke this piece off too, the brake. And he also broke this off. So, uh, I don't know why he don't just go buy a new one of these, but uh, apparently he doesn't want to put the money in it, so... I'm going to see if I can't fix that, put that back together. Now, because of where it's at, it's going to be difficult to do a whole lot with it. So, what I've done is I found a piece of steel that's about eighth inch thick. <clears throat> and I've cut it to size. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that thing to fit that area and make me some marks to where if I can get it to hold steel there get that marked and then we're going to cut that out and do the same thing down here on the bottom If we can get the mark there, I hope we can. And then we're going to take and mark that around and just go around to the corner there and cut that out. And I swear to God, my phone has rang all day long. Hey, man. What's going on? Oh, dog. I'm working on your chainsaw. Huh? Now that we've got the piece cut out and bent to the contour of this right here, we're going to set that up there. And there's a flat spot on the back side of this part right here. So there's plenty of places there to put a uh, bolt through. So basically what we're going to do is find out where the center of that flat spot is and bring that on around here. And right there should be the center of that flat spot. So now we're going to draw a mark right here, and that's where we're going to drill our hole for the first one. So we'll be right back. All right, now that we've got our hole drilled in this piece, now we've got a quarter inch bolt with a flathead screw on it that we're going to stick that in there. And that'll hold it for us. Now this ain't going to be to my liking. But, you know, without somebody spending a little bit of money to make it right, there ain't a whole lot I can do about it. So now we know where this hole is right here that used to be there. We're going to take and bring this out, put that in location, and then we're going to draw us a mark right there. And we're going to do the same thing to this one right here. So I'll hold my pencil right out from it, just enough to where I can get this brought back down to where it should be. 
and then we'll make a mark right there. Now those two holes should line up with this hole and this hole. And we'll see how that works. So now we take this back off and drill it out for that. Now basically this one here is just to hold it to this one. And then this will be attached to this. And then this here will hold all of it together. So now let's drill two holes for that. So now we need to take this bolt out or screw because these are now going to be too short. So what I've done was went and found two screws that were just as wide as these are. They might be a little long, but I think they'll be okay because they only protrude out maybe an eighth of an inch. So we're going to use the same one that we used or took out of it. And I think I'm going to see if I can find a better screw than this. Let's see here. Some of these bolts I got are a little messed up. Threads are messed up. Oh well, looks like it's going to be that one. thing was going in there just fine. Might have to wallow the whole way up. Hopefully not. Got that in there. Now let's see if we can find a Phillips screwdriver and screw that back in there. Yeah, a bunch of glue or silicone or something in that. And a seven sixteenth wrench. And there we have it. Tighten it up a little bit more here. And it's just as good as new. He's one of them guys that he don't care what it looks like. I'm not one of those. <laughs> In fact, I'm actually pretty ashamed to uh, put that on there like that. That's what he wants. That's what he gets. Uh, we're going to tighten that chain up for him because that's a little loose. I think that's it. Loosen that up a little bit. Where's the 
adjuster screw on this one. Huh. Oh well. At least I'll get it a little tighter for him. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. I'll let him do his adjustments. This one don't have an adjuster on it. Unless I'm missing it. Let's see here. Well, I don't see an adjuster on it. How does he adjust this thing? Unless it's on this side. Yeah, there it is. I was wondering about that. Now that we found the adjuster, I'll go ahead and adjust this for you. Usually they're on the opposite side. This adjuster's not working for some reason. Good, right there. Alright. And there you have it. Just a piece of metal. It ain't the best looking thing in the world, but it does its job. So he'll be tickled with that. And there we have it. Now, um, we're still thinking of things that we want to do in the shop. Um, I want to get on this thing. That going every time I look at this thing, I see something rusting on it, man. That's not cool. Yeah, that's not cool at all, man. I got to keep steel wool in this thing, and I keep greasing it and oiling it, and it's still rusting on me. I never had this problem with that atlas. Every time I look at this thing, it's, it's acting like it's rusting on me. Anyway, this was only for the um, uh, chainsaw. We've got the chainsaw fixed. And um, I'm going to sign off and go in the house. I ain't been feeling too good today. So uh, we'll get this in there and edit it. And get it up there on, on uh, YouTube for you. And uh, we'll talk at you later.